I'm going to show you how to play Porcelain Fists by Ingrid Michaelson. The song can be broken down into two parts, the verse and the chorus. The intro part is the exact same as the verse, only you play it up an octave higher. I'm just going to show you the way it's played in the verse. I'll first start showing you, how you what you play with your left hand. You only play one note at a time like a lot of her songs. You start on C below middle C. Then you'll go down to G. Then you'll do this little walk up, F, G, G sharp, to E flat, to, and then a walk up from the G to the G sharp again, E flat, and then a walk from the C to the B flat. I'll play that slowly. The right hand is a little bit more complicated. The basic pattern is that you'll play, you'll have a three note chord, you'll play your thumb first, and then the other two notes. So the first chord, when your left hand is on the C, your right hand plays a G, a C, and an E flat. When your left hand goes down to the G, your right hand plays a G, a B, and a D. When your left hand goes to the G sharp, your right hand plays G sharp, C, and E flat. When your left hand plays E flat, your right hand plays G, B flat, and E flat. Your left hand goes back to the G sharp and, and plays the same chord, G sharp, C, E flat. Back to the same one you just did before that, the E flat, then the G, B flat, E flat. Your left hand goes from the C to the B flat, and then your right hand plays F, B flat, and D. And then it will do a little thing with the pinky up to the E flat, and then back down. The pattern in your right hand goes like this. I'll play that all slowly. and then you just repeat that. For the chorus, your left hand starts on the G sharp, then goes to A sharp, then goes to G, and then goes to C. Back to the G sharp, the A sharp, and then there's this walk up from the E flat, F, G, G sharp. Then it goes back and forth to the G, G sharp, G, G sharp, B, G, G sharp, G sharp, G, G sharp. And then back to the C for the verse. Your right hand does the same pattern that it does during the verse. When your left hand's on the G sharp, your right hand plays. G sharp, C, and E flat. Your left hand goes up to the A sharp. Your right hand goes up to the A sharp, D, and F. Your left hand goes down to G, and your right hand goes to G, B flat, and D. When your left hand goes up to the G sharp, your right hand goes back to the G sharp, C, and E flat. Back again to the A sharp, A sharp, D, and F. Then on the walk up is the one time when your right hand pattern will change. You'll just play straight chords and all three notes at the same time. When your left hand plays the E flat, your right hand will play E flat, 
G, and B flat. When your left hand plays an F, your right hand plays F and G sharp. When your left hand plays G, your right hand plays G and B flat. Then your left hand will play G sharp, your right hand will play E flat, G sharp, and C. Then on the notes that go back and forth between the G sharp and G. On the G sharp, your right hand will play E flat, G sharp, and C. And on the G, your right hand will play G and B flat. One other thing on the chorus that she does is she actually plays an octave in the left hand. So all those bass notes I showed you, she plays not only that, the note I showed, but also the bass note below it. You don't have to do that. You can just play one or the other and it will sound fine. I'll play it for you slowly now, just with one of the notes. Now play the verse into the chorus full speed. There's one variation in the verse chords, and that happens at the very end of the song. It's how she ends the song. After she's through playing the verse chords, she does a couple different chords. The first one, the left hand is on an F, and the right hand is on F, G sharp, and E flat. The left hand goes down to an E, the right hand goes to an E, and stays on the G sharp and E flat. Then the left hand goes down to E flat. The right hand goes to E flat, stays on the G sharp and the E flat. And then switches to, in the right hand, to a D and B flat. And that's the ending chord. I'll play the whole ending now. That's it.